praise God for this beautiful day that he has given us. Another day to worship him, praise him for all the things that he has done for us. Amen. Well, guys, this is Evangelist Chino Bernal, Power of Faith Ministry. I'm greatly appreciated. Everybody that's sending me comments, saying how great everything is, receiving the word of God and the phone calls. And I greatly appreciate all the good things y'all say about me. I cannot imagine that the whole world is responding to my sermons, my messages. And it's just so great to hear that, that the, the word of God is being spread. Like the Bible says, go ye and preach throughout the word, throughout the whole world. Well, guys, today, my sermon is going to be about the Son of God took on human flesh to provide redemption. And before I start the sermon, let's bow our heads and go into prayer. Father God, thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your blessings, your grace, your mercy, your unconditional love toward us. Thank you for all the beauty that you have created for us to enjoy the clouds, trees, flowers, birds, your creation. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, the Son of God took on human flesh to provide redemption for us to those under the law. If you open up your Bible, it tells you all that right here in the book of uh, Galatians, chapter 4, verse 4 through 5. You see, the, people have a hard time understanding this. At no time did Jesus ever cease to be God. At no time he ever ceased to be God. See, the Lord Jesus Christ. Is one internally divine person who will forever possess two distinct yet inseparable natures, one divine and one human. You see, Trinity and the Christian doctrine. A lot of people have a hard time understanding this. But it's a trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's one. It is one. You see, the trinity, the trinity in Christian doctrine is the unity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as three persons in one Godhead. How do I explain this? How do I explain the Trinity? So the Trinity is like an egg. I'm trying I'm gonna try to kind of explain it more more uh, basic because some guys cannot understand this. So how I'm going to explain the Trinity is, it's like an egg, for example. Just one egg has three different parts. Think about this. Part number one, the shell. Part number two, the white. Part number three, the yolk. It's three in one. All three is in one. So, one God has three different, three different persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Or some people say the Holy Ghost, but it's the same thing. You see, and another example also is an apple. Think about this, an apple. One apple has three different parts. The skin the flesh, and the seed. 
but it's one apple. Three and one. So the Trinity is one God existing in three persons. So Jesus is God. It's so simple to understand this. Jesus is God. See, throughout this life, you're going to have to make a decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Because if you don't not accept him as your personal Savior and accept and believe in your heart that he was crucified in the cross for you, for your sins, you cannot enter the gates of heaven. That's why in John chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, you may think you can live fine without Christ, but you cannot afford to die without him. Because if you die without him, you will spend eternity in hell. You see, the split moment that you take your last breath, in that split second, you would either be facing Jesus or you'd be facing the devil. And this is reality, guys. So I really love you guys. I want you to understand. That's why I kind of broke it down so you could understand by using the example, you know, like the apple and the egg. And, you know, you need to be washed in the blood. There's this beautiful song I used to sing when I was in church, when I was growing up. Thank God my parents always took us to church when we were little babies. And we grew up going to church, you know, on Sundays. Sunday morning and Sunday evenings and Wednesdays. And we also used to go vacation Bible school. Those were some great old days. And uh, had a great time too. And there's this song I want to sing. Are you washed in the blood? Into the cleansing power Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood in the soul? Please the blood of the Lamb. Praise God Almighty. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion bride and the flesh in the blood of the Lamb? Washed in the blood of in the soul cleansing blood. Hallelujah. And be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, be washed in the blood of the Lamb.
Praise God, praise God. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Praise God. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? You need to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. That blood will set you free. The blood of Jesus. Well, guys, when you, I want you guys to have a beautiful day. Don't forget, you need to pray, read the Bible. Appreciate everything that he has done for us, for you. And have a great, blessed day. And don't forget, God loves you. And he's always there for you. All you got to do is call upon his name. Amen.